So, how do you launch a boat by yourself? First time I got my boat, I didn't have any idea. I had to learn by myself and figure it out. Hopefully this video will help you, give you some tips, uh, do it safely, and get on the water quickly. All right, let's go. The first step every single time is plug that hole at the bottom of the boat. I almost sunk my boat the very first time I took it out by putting the plug in the wrong hole. Trust me, do that once and you'll never forget to put it in again. Next, take those straps off. Both sides, if you got them, so that the boat is no longer attached to the trailer. Next, if you got a transom saver, take that off. Final step, if you got a transducer, make sure it's in the down position and level to your boat. Don't do that, you gotta reach in the water and do it later. No matter if you've been to the launch a bunch of times or it's your first time, always go down and check the launch conditions. You never know if there's gonna be some shifting of the launch or a hole in the launch or some debris that you need to clear out. Go down, quickly check it out before you back up the boat. One thing you do is loosen up the boat in the trailer before you go in. However, don't unhook it. Just give it a few cranks, loosen up just a little bit so you know when the boat floats, but it doesn't float away on you. If you've never backed up a boat before, then I suggest going out to a parking lot and trying to park it between some parking spaces, in between lines, different situations. And you'll get used to pulling it up right close next to a dock or just getting it straight down the boat launch. Remember to always put on that emergency brake in the truck or car before you get out. You don't want your vehicle sliding back into the lake. Now that I got the boat in, I got two options. I can step down onto the trailer on the outside of the boat, unhook it, or just reach over and get it. So in this case, I got to jump out and disconnect the boat. And then I'll just jump back in. All right, boat's disconnected. Let's start up the engine. All right, engine's going. Let's back it out. And then pull it back into the dock on the other side. Now we don't put down the engine all the way, just a little bit, because it might be shallow behind us. So we're just going to back up nice and slow. And now we're going to pull in to the other side of the dock. A rule in boating is you never want to approach another object in the water faster than you're ready to hit it. So take care and monitor your speed as you approach that object, because waves and current can really change how fast you're moving in the water. All right, the boat's on the dock. We're gonna shut down the engine and we're gonna make sure we got it tied up nice and safe to the dock. If not, you can pull the boat right up onto the shore. That's not gonna go anywhere. I have a second safety device for my boat to make sure when I bring it on dock or next to shore, it's called the shallow water anchor and it puts a spike into the ground to make sure the boat doesn't go anywhere. I have this for my kids, but it's also great if it's just by yourself. When you put it down, you know the boat's not gonna go anywhere, even if the rope comes untied. All right, it's down. And those, uh, those lights telling me it's down on the ground. The boat is tied up. The shallow water anchor is down. It's not gonna go anywhere. Now it's time to pull the truck out and we can uh, get going on the lake. So stay safe, have fun, catch a lot of fish.